Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with more awesome Space Marines. Of course, Games Workshop have recently announced the release of a bunch of new Space Marine kits along with the new 10th edition codex. And they very kindly sent me one of each of these kits to test out and do videos for you guys. So I thought I would start off with the beautiful new Space Marine Captain with Jump Pack. We have all been waiting for Primaris Marines with Jump Packs for quite a long time. So I am very excited to bring this model to you. Um, I actually did a little bit of reposing and changing up because I wasn't super happy with how this guy was posed in the box set. The video for that is actually over on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, there are links to it below. Uh, you get access to a private Discord sorter. And like that video, you get an extra video every single week just for you guys. So there's uh, really no excuse for you not to get involved. Um, I'm going to be painting up this miniature to match in with my Flesh Tears army. So it's going to be a lot of fun doing them up in the red on black scheme. So hope you guys stick around and enjoy the video. So this is my Space Marine Captain with Jump Pack. And as you can see, I have modified him slightly. I did that in one of my Patreon videos that went live on my channel at the same time as this video did. So if you're curious about how I did it, but I think it really does make all the difference to the kind of direction, the feel, the motion of this model. And um, I'm much happier with him in this configuration and this pose. And all it required was one additional part. One, There's only one part that didn't come inside of the uh, Space Marine Captain set which helped me to change everything about this model. So the model got sprayed Chaos Black and then I went over it with a gray sear primer as well to give me a really nice base coat for uh, applying contrast. I then jumped in with some Flesh Terrors Red and applied that all over the armor that is supposed to be red. The Flesh Terrors have very much a split color scheme. Half the armor is red and half the armor is black. So traditionally the shoulder pads, the head and the backpack are black on a Primaris or a Flesh Terror's model. Had to do a little bit of research to make sure that the jump packs do indeed stay the same black color scheme as the jump pack, as the backpacks do, and they do indeed. So I was able to power ahead and get the black done on, on all those parts as well. I'm using a small layer brush from Games Workshop and taking my time. And I do enjoy being neat and tidy, even when applying contrast. And um, it kind of helps me kind of visualize where the model is gonna go and what it's gonna look like at the end. And as you can see, with just the red and black applied to this model, you can already see it taking shape and looking kind of awesome. I've chosen to give this guy a gray cape. And this might seem like an odd choice, a very dark and dull color, but I definitely like to um, kind of play into the idea that flesh tears are very utilitarian uh, when it comes to their attire. They are very much savages on the battlefield, um, so they try and be... Um, as subtle on the battlefield as possible. These guys do not go in for you know, gilded livery, lots of gold, lots of trim, lots of that kind of stuff. Um, so I think a gold, a, a gray cape definitely works a treat for now. I've done it on my other flesh tears, miniatures, and characters that have capes, and it does look awesome. Agros Dunes was then used to uh, fill in all of the parchment on his purity seals. There's three parchments on this particular guy. Volopus Pink was then used for all of the uh, wax seals, which just add another spot of color to this miniature, but it's obviously in the same tone as the red, so it blends in quite nicely. As you can see, we've only used three or four contrast colors now, and the model is looking fantastic. So now it's time to move over to the metallics. So for this, I'm going to use Retributor Armor Gold for the few bits of ostentation that there is on this model. So he does appear to have some sort of reliquy or... Uh, something like that on his belt so we did that in gold and then of course he's got his shoulder pad of office which has the aquila on it which of course is going to mean a lot to them so they are going to uh have that be a little bit ostentatious with the gold yeah and then there's a few skulls and symbols around the model as well built into like his belt buckle and bits like that which i'm going to hit with a hint of gold as well but as you can see very much still leans on the side of not too gaudy Lead belch was then brought in for the other details, so the silver on the bolt pistol. Uh, the bottom of the holster, and there's a few other bits and pieces around the model, a skull on his knee pad I'm going to do in silver, um, and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. It's actually not a lot of silver on these guys at all, but being neat and tidy and making sure you get those bits will make all the difference. You guys may have seen me do my flesh terrors before with my Leviathan and Adama this week, and that's where this guy is going to go. He's going to join those two starter boxes put together to create an army. I'm going to then use Null Oil to shade down the entire miniature. This will darken everything down and really give it that kind of, kind of dark and uh, gritty scheme. 
Now, while that shade is drying, I'm now going to move over and uh, talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is of course the Independent Stockist Air Hobbies, which is local to Ireland. They have a fantastic selection of miniatures available and um, quite a vast selection of miniatures if I do say so myself. As you can see by this uh, intro video here, you can see that their, their shelves are absolutely jam-packed from floor to ceiling. Every aisle is a, a different thing, whether it's rows and rows of paint, whether it's entire 40k range or Age of Sigmar. Um, one of the most impressive things I find is their, their restocking is constant. Every Saturday they're, they're posting videos about all the new stock they get in. They are not afraid to try and stock kind of different things that other hobby stores tend to avoid. Uh, give it a shot and see how well it does. So you will find a very diverse range of products. If you're curious to check them out yourself, I'll leave all their links below. You can go check them out. Uh, my favorite uh, thing about them is the idea that if you spend 60 euro in, on their website, you get free next day delivery in Ireland, which I think is fantastic. And it has saved my neck on more than one occasion. So I'm very, to have, very happy to have them as a continued sponsor of the Media Hobbies channel. And I hope to uh, place another order with them very soon. Okay, so with the shade dry, and unfortunately I did have another mishap with the shade drying a little bit glossy. Don't know what is happening with that or why it's happening. So I just hit it with a, a spray of matte varnish. And um, it didn't dull it down all that much, but it definitely took a lot of the sheen off. Um, and after I do the layering job, of course, it won't make that much of a difference. So the first thing I'm going to do is the uh, the red armor parts. I'm going to go for corn red and I'm going to go in and layer up all of the power armor on this guy. I'm back with my small layer brush. I'm taking my time and I'm being as neat and tidy as possible. This will make all the difference in the final job. Now, if you get the, the kind of red and black, really neat and sharp looking on this guy with one uh, coat of paint, you don't need any edge highlighting or any of that stuff. It will make all the difference. It makes the flesh tears really pop. Flesh Tears being my favorite brand of Blood Angels. You can thank Black Library for that. I'm currently layering up uh, other Flesh Tears as we speak, so uh, I cannot wait to show you guys my entire Blood Angels uh, Flesh Tears range of models sometime very soon. Corvus Black was then brought in to uh, layer up all of the black parts of the miniature, which of course is a little bit time consuming when he's got that giant jump pack, which of course, looks absolutely awesome, but it is going to take up a lot more time than just a normal uh, power pack of the Space Marines. I love using Corvus Black to layer up over black as it's got that kind of touch of grey to it. Which means it's got a little bit of colour to it. It's not jet black. It sits with the red really nice. Makes me very happy. Lead Belcher was then brought in to highlight all of the metallic parts. That's right, I said all of the metallic parts. That goes for both the gold and the silver. With the silver, it's a normal layer. Just like I did the red and the black. But with the gold, it goes into more of a touch highlight. I'm just aiming for all those sharp points. Almost like a little bit of a dry brush, if you will. Uh, this will really add a nice bit of uh, color and highlight to the gold with very minimal work. Shoulder pad and his little reliquary are really the only bits anyway. And then, of course, we're going to tidy up the bolt pistol. Heavy bolt pistol and any other bits and pieces that there are left around the miniature. As you can see, we're looking pretty swish. After that, we're going to go back to Mechanica Standard Grey, and we're going to use this to layer up his uh, cape. Edna Mode would not be happy seeing a jump pack and a cape. She would have a slight conniption. Edna Mode is a canoness. Hmm. Same haircut. Anyway. Uh, yeah, going in and taking my time following the, the highlighted areas of the cape, so all of those raised areas, the tops of the folds, and all those deep recesses, we're gonna leave the shaded um, contrast color. That will give that a lot of depth. From here, we're just gonna start adding details. So we're gonna use Warp Lightning to fill in the eye sockets to give him nice glowing green. We use the same red for the teardrop. I went in with uh, Ulthuan Gray and highlighted up the, the white uh, emblem on their shoulder pad. Pink horror was used to highlight the wax seals all across the model. Well, I say all across the model, there's only three of them on this particular guy. Which is quite tame for a captain, I might add, these days. They tend to have quite a lot. I then used my Green Stuff World stippling brush. Not really necessary. You just want to grab a little bit of case foam and do the same thing. But since I've got them sitting here, I might as well use them. 
You load them up with silver and then wipe the majority of it off, just like as if you're going to dry brush. Then you just stipple it across the armor, uh, adding a little bit of silver chips and flex to the armor. This guy is a warrior who is in combat an awful lot. I don't like the pristine look of Space Marines. I really like them to be a little bit grittier, a little bit more damaged. I added a simple transfer to his tilt shield and called him done. This is my finished Primaris Space Marine Captain with jump pack, painted to match my flesh tears, a few high res images to finish it off. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And like I said, make sure you put in the comments what other units you want to see from the Space Marine range, whether that be new or old, and I will get on it right away. Okay guys, there we have it. The first video of the new Space Marine range is now complete. Really happy with how he turned out, even though I had a little bit of a mess up with the shade. That is okay. He turned out great in the end. I'm very much looking forward to adding a 10-man squad of Jump Marines to him. I already have five built and ready to go. Need to get my growing mitts on another five. Uh, and then I shall be very excited to see him jumping around the board causing havoc. Now let me know which one of the new kids you want to see in the next video and I will get on that for you guys right away. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. Ask me any questions you want in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel like two thirds of the people that do watch my videos are, please do take two seconds out of your day and hit that subscribe button. It does make a huge difference to me. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.